Sarah, thanks for having me again. Great to talk to you. Of course, you've got to be the most nimblest of traders. I, we're not, as you know, we've expected a summer rally or a pretty good bounce, as Mike said so uh, appropriately. You have this historic oversold condition, but ultimately, Sarah, when I think back to when I got into the business in May of 1987, I can't remember a real market, a for real market correction, not just a a couple of week kind of crashy type things where the Fed was getting more hawkish as the market was going down. So typically we try to differentiate between a bottom, quote unquote, and the bottom. And for mm. us, until we see the Fed signal, not necessarily change interest rate policy, but signal a change is coming. I think we're going to just stay on the sidelines unless you're super. Nimble. So what about that summer rally that you are all excited about? I, it's still, you know, it's, I think it's happening. There's a, a bunch of stocks that are up from where they were two weeks ago. It's a pretty broad rally. But like I said, it, it's, the question becomes, we always ask what's, what's good for the average investor. And what's good for the average investor is to have some kind of confidence that there's a significant and sustainable turn. And I think that only can't, comes with money availability improving. And it's actually gotten worse lately, not better. And another rate hike isn't going to help. So, Tony, what, what if the market gets ahead of the Fed again, though? What, what if inflation numbers start to come down? Would that, would that be enough to convince you, or you have to hear a, a clear change in tone from the Fed? I think you got to see a, a clear change in tone from the Fed. And by the way, that's our call going into end of year. Um, at this point, as you but know, we've been talking when? about Yeah, the Fed's in a box. Their dual mandate are working on lagging indicators. So you're already starting to see some pretty dramatic weakness in economic activity, especially interest rate stuff. And as rates go up, that's not going to help it. But the good news for that, going uh, probably post-election into the end of the year, is that's going to really create an environment where the Fed's going to start focusing more on the economic weakness. Because if you follow the National Federation of Independent Businesses Hiring Plans Index, that leads unemployment by four months. And that's having a pretty dramatic downturn. So in other words, mm. unemployment into the end of the summer should be starting to pick up. Inflation should start to come down. We're already down 22 to 24 percent. So our call is that the end of the world is here because the Fed's tightening monetary policy. It's that you don't have to do something on the next hit until you figure out, until we see signs that the Fed is actually changing their tune, which will allow for that money availability to improve.